I guess in today's world, we all multitask and with so much happening on the internet, websites, files, uh, I find a particular program, piece of software uh, called Instapaper to be extremely useful. As it says here on the Instapaper site, instapaper.com, you can save anything and you can read it anywhere. You can save interesting articles, videos, recipes, whatever. And you can save it on any device and it'll sync into one free account. There is an upgrade version, but uh, at the moment I'm talking about the uh, free one, which I use. Now, what I'd like to do is to show you, here we are, exactly what it does. So, for instance, here's my Instapaper account and there's my page. And these are all the files that I've actually saved. Now, the interesting thing is that I can get a file here and um, I can edit the title if I want. It tells me a little bit about what this was about. I can click on here and go back to the article without all of the distractions, etc. So it's a very good way of researching or saving information for a project or a, a subject that you might be researching. If I want to share this information, rather, I can share by email, by Twitter, by Tumblr. Um, if I want to save it as a particular favourite, I can do that. Let's go back now to my original page. What I also like is I can set up different folders. So this is about generating leads, something I do an awful lot of. And I've got a lead generation folder there. OK, so I can go to here and I can literally move it to lead generation. It'll disappear from there and will appear in here. You'll notice that it's also favorited. So if I looked at the liked versions, you'll see I've got that there and I've got another one that's got uh, that's on LinkedIn. OK, the other really good thing I like about it. So let's go back on to 10 ways to quickly generate leads. Let's say I've got a particular section on this article that I like. So having a blog is one of the best lead generation tools you can use. It's not only allows a company or person and blah, blah, blah. Once I select it, it allows me to highlight it. Now, where's that useful? Let's say you do some research on a number of different website articles that have been downloaded onto or moved to Instapaper. You can now go to your notes and you'll see there it is. So I can collate a number of notes that could then be projected into a presentation or a blog post, etc. These are the previous notes. So in fairness, as a standard member, a free member, you're only allowed five notes a month. But for three dollars, I think here it says for three dollars a month, you can actually increase that. Um, what else do I like? You can archive particular articles. I haven't. I tend to put them into these uh, sections. So if I've got uh, information I want to share on seven, like Sandler's sales tips, psychology of persuasions. So you can see I'm preparing um, a discussion, if you like, about sales tips and I'm researching all the various articles. Now, how do I find these articles? Well, let's say I've got a blog here on Digital Marketer and I like this particular, or, or these are the blogs rather. Uh, let's have a look. Content marketing, how to turn ice cold prospects into high ticket buyers. There's the article, just typical. You're reading through it and you think, right, I want to do something with that later on. So you go to share this, Instapaper, saving to Instapaper. Saved. OK, go back to my home page now. Content marketing, exactly instantly there. And I can now put that into, say, internet marketing where I have all my internet marketing related. So it's a brilliant, brilliant site. I say it's a software. It's not a software. It's a site. 
Uh, I can do all of this on my iPad when I see things that I want to save to later because I really want I want to really study something in my own time. I can do that. It's absolutely brilliant. So um, log on to Instapaper and take advantage of what it will do.